it's becoming a black hole. And that's the shockwave, surging through the star, ripping its outer layers into space. There's lethal radiation everywhere, enough to have a catastrophic effect on any planet unlucky enough to be nearby. When virtually every species on Earth was wiped out 450 million years ago, the culprit may have been one of these. Deadly hypernovas, frozen comets, scorched planets, white dwarfs, red giants, Earth. Tiny drops in a vast pool of white light. Our home galaxy, the Milky Way. We wanted to know where we fit in. Here's our answer. Civilizations past and present. Everyone that's ever lived. The smallest bug, the highest mountain. All of it, invisible. Not even a tiny speck. Our home is a minor planet of an insignificant star. If it disappeared right now, who or what would even notice? And yet, so far we found nowhere else we would rather live. Nowhere we could live. It's only now, far from home, that we're beginning to truly appreciate it. Look at all these stars. Hundreds of thousands of them. Surely one of these, more than one, must be capable of supporting life. Maybe here, in this swarm of stars, the Great Cluster. Back in the 1970s, astronomers sent a message in this direction, detailing the structure of our DNA and our solar system's location. But it's so far from home, the message won't arrive for at least another 25,000 years. We haven't found alien life yet. But neither have we found any reason to believe it isn't out here, somewhere. There's an equation, devised to estimate the number of other advanced civilizations. Crunch the numbers, and the result is shocking. There could be millions of civilizations, just in our own galaxy. Everything we have seen so far is inside the Milky Way. Now here's our chance to see other galaxies, to glimpse the even bigger picture, and perhaps to answer the ultimate question, where does all this come from? We are now ready to leave our solar system, our galaxy, and enter intergalactic space. Beyond the Milky Way, through the vast expanse between galaxies, against all the odds, we've made it to intergalactic space.
Out here, there's no horizon in sight. Even the closest galaxies are millions of light years away. The remains of galaxies ripped apart by the Milky Way's huge gravitational pull. Scattered through, nothing. This is as close as the universe gets to a perfect vacuum. But even this isn't totally empty. There are thin wisps of gas, fine traces of dust, and something else, dark matter. So mysterious we can't see it, feel it, taste it, touch it, or even measure it. Yet so common, it could make up over 90% of all the matter in the universe. If dark matter does exist, it means there's no such thing as empty space. Even out here, we're surrounded by matter. We only know it exists because of the strange hold it exerts on galaxies, like this one, the Large Magellanic Cloud. More than six billion years in today's fastest spacecraft, 160,000 light years from the Milky Way, at the edge of its gravitational reach. This galaxy should spin off into space, but something is holding it here. Something invisible, powerful, dark matter. Stars, clusters of stars, nebulae. It's a vast astronomical treasure house. But look at this. It's like a string of gleaming pearls. It's a fireball, expanding out from what must have been a massive explosion, a supernova. So bright that when light from the explosion reached the Earth in 1987, it was visible with the naked eye. And so violent, it triggered a string of nuclear reactions, forcing atoms together, creating new elements. Gold, silver, platinum. Blasting them out into space. The gold in the ring on your finger was forged in a massive supernova like this. Trillions of kilometers away, billions of years ago. Before we left home, the universe seemed separate. Something out there, up in the sky. We were wrong. The story of the universe is the story of every one of us. It's comforting to remember as we venture through this abyss. Further and further. Faster and faster. The Andromeda Galaxy, two and a half million light years away. It's moving through space at nearly a million kilometers an hour. Everything in space is moving apart like shrapnel from an explosion. We're seeing this galaxy as it was when our ape-like ancestors first walked across the African plains. We go further through space and further back in time. This doesn't look right. A whole galaxy exploding. The only thing large enough to cause an explosion on this scale has to be another galaxy. It looks like the end of the world, but we've seen enough to know things are never that simple. This galaxy won't die. It'll be reborn. A new shape, perhaps even new stars, as dust and gas collide, creating friction, shock waves, triggering the birth of stars.